Hey, what's up, guys? Machine Mike here, bringing you another Gymshark review. And we shall unpackage this bad boy and we shall see what we have received. This is the most expensive Gymshark order I've put through, by the way. And I feel like I've got nothing in it compared to some of the other orders I've put in. However, we bought a lot of boxes. And that is why this order is so expensive. Can take out all the boxes first? We have these are men's trunks, two multi pack, size medium. We have a blue and a green one. I thought they were both blue, but we have a blue and a green one. I'm going to try these bad boys on. Tight. This is what these look like. These are the blue. Very nice and snug. Snug fitting. Very beautiful, mate. Very nice fabric. So here are the green ones. Again, same fit, obviously. Both, both in size medium. Very snug feeling. Quite high up on the leg to be fair, I thought they are going to be a bit shorter, but it's good, I'm not complaining, the higher up they are the better in my opinion, you see more of them leg gains. Also have um, the men's hipsters black and medium and the men's hipsters grey and medium, but I did a review on these last video, so if you want to see these go to the last video, it's like halfway through the video, um, but I'm going to move on, I've already done these so I'm not going to, I'm not going to try them on. But, however, I am going to try on the men's contact trunks 2-pack in medium. These look sick on the website, and they look sick in real life, so I'm going to try these on. Let's just put these on, guys. What the fuck? <laughs> I think they are supposed to be higher up. Let's put them on properly. So that's where they're supposed to sit. Like, just basically below the V. They're so fucking long, man. What the hell? Well, I want, to be, I want to be wearing these bad boys a lot, maybe on like days. So if you, just move my legs around a bit. So that's where the that's where they're gonna sit. So they do snug up a bit, quite a lot actually. Look at that material. They're very comfortable, I must say, but I'm not I'm not one for trunks. I literally only bought these because I wanted the other pair. I don't really want the black pair, but hey. So that's what they look like from the back. They feel like they feel like compression boxes though. I guess it's probably because I'm not used to wearing trunks and especially not in this material. But hey. Keep that in mind guys, if you like trunks, then honestly these feel absolutely amazing, but I'm more of a showing my leg kind of person, so I would prefer that yeah without further ado i'll show you the other ones anyway because they're the ones i actually want mainly my favorites the uh like the camo kind of digital camo green they look sweet as fuck. they really do remind me of like runners compression shorts i guess it's just the way they're designed but they look and feel quite swag we're gonna open this bad boy it's the Ion Stringer, the car key camos. Oh, mate, look at this. Look at this bad boy. Oh, thank you, mate. Oh, this feels good. This feels sweet. Not like a proper, oh, it's actually slightly different. Slightly slightly different. Quickly pop on some shorts so you can see what it looks like with clothes on. Oh, bollocks. I'm, I'm fucking... <laughs> <laughs> uh. So there we are. Well, it's quite low actually. Bloody hell, mate. Bloody hell, Harry. Check this out. <laughs> Take two. Oh man, um, so yeah, very nice, very snug, it's um, of all the stringers I have from Gymshark, which is none, <laughs> um, like, I don't know, I don't know, Th this is, is, this is, oh, no, hold on, hold on, let me, before I say something stupid, it is a stringer, right, most stringers, I'm not complaining Gymshark, I'm not complaining, 
I'm just being honest for the, for the viewers. Most stringers come down to about here, but um, with the Gymshark ones, they're actually slightly higher up, so bear that in mind. They're not going to show your lats and make you look like a boss. Um, they do show your chest, though, if you've got chest gains, as you can see. Show your chest from the side and from the front. Um, all in all, very nice shirt. The material's like really... God, I don't even know how to explain that. It's like silky cotton. It's really weird. But it feels really good. Like You'll probably sweat like crazy in this. Because of the material. That's it from the back side. And the front. Well, that spread in the front. So, yeah, fairly decent uh, that spread, I guess. Um, but very, very low down. I wasn't expecting them to be so low down, but stringers tend to drop down more anyway. So, again, bear that in mind if you're watching this. Any more order? Gymshark stuff. So next in our little Santa bag from, uh, from Santa, Gymshark Santa, we have my brother's, um, I bought him a gift, a little gift, you know, to say thank you for recording all the videos and stuff for me. Um, but I bought him an Ion Stringer in to be fair, the fancier colour. And um, he has given me permission to try on his shit. So I wish I'd try on his shit. This is a size small. Look at this, oh, I don't know, it's gonna look beautiful on you, mate. It's gonna look fucking beast mode. Make some serious gains in this. Some serious consequences! You're still recording, I'll just cut it. So, so, hold on, man. There's a size, size small. So, this is gonna be a lot tighter around the gains. Oh, bollocks. Fucking hell. Oh, mate. No, that actually fits me quite snug. Well, that fits me quite beautiful, actually. But, I am going to grow and make some serious gains. So, uh, I need a size bigger. Actually, that's quite too tight. So, um, literally just covers my, uh, my nipples. So, obviously, I need a size slightly larger. Size small, though. It's a lot tighter and more snug around the body. And, um, and uh, but it's all in all, it's a snug fit. So, if you're my size, I'll leave the stats. I'll say the stats at the end of the video, which makes it easier. And I'll leave them in the description. But if you're my size, then you can go for a small, but I would suggest going for a medium, especially with bodybuilding. This is a shirt from the front, it's a shirt from the side. Again, can't really see much of a lat spread on there, it's just slightly tucked away. There is the back view. And then there's a flat spread in the back. Uh, all in all, very comfortable. See that that would bug me. This is why I need a medium, guys. But again, this is from Robber. Take this, take this guy off, and then we'll see what we have in the bag next. So that's, that's for you, bro. I'll do these first. So we have. Element compression leggings, black slash white in medium. So I'm gonna try these on, I'll show you what guys what these look like when they're on. Literally look like they're built for kids. Obviously they're gonna stretch. So these are what the leggings look like on. Very tight fit. I could honestly fit into a size large, but the model on the Gymshark website is like 10 pounds heavier than me. Is it 10 pounds or 10 kilograms? I can't remember. Um, I think it's 85. I think he's, yeah, 10 kilograms heavier than me. And they look quite snug on him, but they feel like really tight on me. So maybe I just have bigger leg gains than him, I don't know. But it's, um, it's quite tight. So I can fit into a size large. Um, I'll definitely stretch these out. So kind of a hassle to get on compared to the Gymshark Apex leggings, which I did a review on last time. These are absolutely fantastic. They fit really snug, and it's actually thicker material than these ones, yet these were more of a struggle to put on. So they are tighter. Then again, they are, what did I say, compression? Yeah, they are compressions. So bear that in mind, 
I could fit into a size large. If I could reorder these again, I probably would go for a size large. So, if you're, again, my size, then go for a large, probably. We'll get the mediums here, so if people on them, if you don't like them, you can always send them back to Gymshark. Um, their customer service is really good and really helpful, so if you do need to, then just send them back. But personally, I'll go for a large. So if I order these again, it's going to be a large. And next up, we have... So it's a Phantom Seamless Tank in light grey. Mal. Mal. In medium. You, you guys will see. Part of the new range. Absolutely beautiful, mate. Beautiful. I did train and got this to to add to my tank top collection because I, I like the Jim Shark tanks, they fit me super snug and they are beautiful. Oh, so one to four. Right, I can just go on the floor. I can just go on the floor. Tie. It's a shark. It's a very grey grey, like wow. Didn't think it was gonna be that grey. So we'll try this one on. The material feels different on these compared to the other ones. It feels thinner. All kinds of all kinds of ab gains, as you can see, and all kinds of um, chest gains. It's actually quite nice. Oh, I tell you why it feels different. The Phantom range is like their dry fitting kind of stuff, whereas the seamless tanks which are the other ones that I have they're more of a like general purpose ones I guess whereas this is like a dryer I don't, know what, I don't really know what the difference between dryer and thingies are but anyways this is the front view so front view normal that spread and we've got side view uh, side view on this side it's got dry written on the bottom which I've noticed with Gymshark they always have it on the right side the same with the uh, Apex leggings that I just showed you a second ago. And then the back, they come low as always with the Gymshark stuff. It's always literally like tier ash cheek level more or less. So that's the back. No, that spread. That spread. But a very nice snug fit. Just show off the gains as well. Of course, you have to. And um, yeah, quite beautiful actually. So it's, the material feels stretchier than the other stuff. I would show you, but it's in my laundry basket, which is all nice and tidy. So I'm not gonna show you that. But if you watch my other videos, you'll, you'll see where. But probably one of my new favorite tanks, so I must admit. The material feels really nice and snug and stretchy. And obviously it looks beautiful on me. Absolutely beautiful. So, just get a bit of um, ab show on the go. Get them guns out. Prime t-shirt. Light grey. We're gonna try this on. Oh, there's the um, gym chart logo on the back, which I didn't realise. I didn't see that on the website. So here we go. Here goes nothing. The material on this feels um, very like the World Tour shirts. If you've ever worn them, it feels the same. It's stretchy, like them. So it practically is the same stuff. Well, that's loose though. That is loose. Well, I'm not a fan of this one. Oh, I don't like this one, boys. Yeah, I'm not. I don't like this shirt. <laughs> don't like this shirt. Oh, I'll put that straight out there. The shirt looks really good from the front, but the arm stuff going on is. Um, I mean, it makes my arms look tiny. Look at that. Looks bad. Whereas if I put it up here, then my arms are pretty different. But the, to be fair, it's probably one of them shirts that you go into the gym and you'll literally just pull up and try it out. At least that's what I'm going to do with this shirt. Um, yeah, I, I can't see myself training this down. Because that's just too long and I don't like shirts like this. Hence why I buy tank tops. Because that is far too long. Look at that. Oh, horrible. That actually makes me look really like, tiny. But, um, yeah, material-wise and fit-wise, this shirt's perfect, minus the arms. If it was up there 
and slightly snug, then yeah, I'd probably give this shirt a 10 star rating. However, because of that, I'd spray it at literally a 6 because I don't, I don't like stuff like that. That's, that's annoying. So, yeah, that's the shirt for you. Um, next, we've got two pairs of Gymshark joggers, which I have been wanting to buy for months. Literally, I've been wanting to buy these for months. They've always been out of stock. They're the fit tapered bottoms. This is a light grey. And then we've got the black pair. Then we're going to try these on. Get you guys in a sec. So we've got the, the grey tapered joggers on. It's front view. I could honestly... <clears throat> got my whistle for you. <coughs> my bad guys. I could um, honestly fit into a size small. However, we want to be making serious gains. And I plan on keeping these joggers. I don't plan on ruining them or whatever. So getting a size higher is just more motivation for me to grow my legs and not skip leg day. This gives us a lot of room to grow because that is a, it's quite loose. And it gives me a good excuse to train calves like crazy because it's quite loose down here. And I don't really like that. So. If you want to avoid this, I'd suggest getting a size smaller than what you naturally are. Because they do stretch, so you will fit in them. They'll get a really snug fit if you were to get a, um, a small. That would be quite snug. But that's the greys. We're going to try on the blacks quick. See you guys in a sec. Here are the black ones. Looking very tasty, very swag. Making all kinds of leg gains in these. You can see it already. It's the back view, side view, other side, front view. I should also mention these have a zip on both of them. It comes up to there. So if you want to do anything funky and play around with them, roll them up, whatever you can do. And to be honest with you, they're looser at the bottom than I thought they would be, so I'm probably gonna wear them in the gym like that. To be quite honest with you guys, because that'll look better. Obviously, do something funky with these so it doesn't look so newbie, but yeah. So, um, that is it for the Gymshark order, guys. That's uh, that's all we got in this order with the shipment. And, um, top guys at Gymshark, I would recommend them to people. The only one thing I don't really like about Gymshark is the fact that they're so popular. Um, so like you go to any gym and if the gym has at least 10 people in it in the, like, the weight section at least one person will be wearing something Gymshark not every gym but most gyms so you might run into someone wearing the same same thing as you so bear that in mind it's the only issue with Gymshark otherwise everything else is absolutely flawless with them they, they put a lot of effort into all, all their stuff um, great customer service a great attitude, great sort of family feel with them. Um, that's why they keep saying you know, Jim Shark's family. It is a family. Um, again, like I said, you see a lot of people go to gym wearing the same thing. Not necessarily the same thing, but the same brand. It just kind of brings people together, which is quite cool. Um, but I personally wear Jim Shark because it feels nice. <laughs> if I had to give this a rating, one being the worst and ten being the best, I overall give it an eight. Um, the only one thing that bugged me was that prime shirt with the sleeves down to there, which is retarded because I don't have long arms or huge shoulders or huge arms to fight out yet. We'll do in a couple of years. We're massive, Sam. Um, that's crazy to think if someone's watching back on this video and I'm like massive and they're like, oh, yeah, it's a tweak. Anyway, that's me. <laughs> me going off, rambling on. Um, but yeah, 8 out of 10. Um, the Gymshark website is going to be linked in the description and also I would suggest, I don't normally suggest this, I don't normally say the complete opposite, but I would suggest subscribing to their newsletter because they don't do athlete promo codes anymore because I used to use a Lexus promo code to get 10% off and now they don't do athlete promo codes for some reason, which I think is a rip off for the athletes, but again that's me going to be rambling on. Um, if you subscribe to the newsletter, they will email you uh, promotion offers, 
And if you also follow them on Instagram, they do uh, posts and they have like offers on there. Because that's actually why I ordered all of this stuff because they did the world tour and they went to LA and there was a 10% off for like 48 hours. So I used that 10% off to get a discount on my order because it's quite a big order. I think it was like 200 plus pounds. So whatever that is in dollars if you're American. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. I um, hope you guys liked it. Uh, if you did like like the video, uh, if you've got any questions in the com just comment down in the comment section below. Um, if there are any questions that you want to ask that urgently, um, I would suggest uh, going to my Instagram and messaging me on, on there because I'm a lot more active on there. And I also have a Facebook page. They are both linked in the description, but the Facebook page I reply to a lot slower. So if you've got a big message, probably message me on there. But in general, just message me on Instagram. It's a lot easier. Um, but again, if you don't have either of those, then just comment in the comment section below and I'll get to you as soon as I can. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, hope you found it helpful. Um, my stats are, I'm around 5'9", 5'10", and I'm 165 pounds, 75 kilograms, more or less. Um, so if that helps, that helps. hope it helps anyway. And um, use all the references that I've put in the video to help you guys out. So, like I said... With these joggers, for example, get small. With the prime shirt, probably get small. Um, everything else is more fits to size, really. Um, but yeah, anyways, once again, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next review. Peace out.